Okay. Now you're going to find that we celebrate the Feast of Dedication on a different day compared to modern day Jewry or Jewish people. The reason why is because the Jewish people follow what you would call a Babylonian calendar. And they'll tell you that a lunar Babylonian cycle. That's why their days change from year to year. So the difference between our Feast of Lights and Dedication, we're dealing with the Feast of Dedication according to the times that were given to Moses. They're dealing with it from the time that the kings of Judah fell under Babylon and began to deal with the lunar cycle. So that's why if you try to relate our days with Jewish people and a lot of Israelites follow their calendar, this is why the Gathering of Christ Church feast, no matter what feast it is, will always fall different than everyone else's. Okay? A matter of fact, it's just it's sheer math. The Most High broke down a calendar year by Sabbaths. Time, a cycle of a week is a Sabbath. A cycle through months and quarters and seasons are broken down in Sabbaths. A calendar year is broken down in Sabbaths, which means you should be able to divide it by seven for a full calendar year, right? So this is what's going on right now. Why our holy days are being followed separate from everyone else, okay? There's 364 days in a calendar year according to the scriptures. 364. Now, if you follow the lunar calendar, it's 354 days in a year. Ten, that means what? A year comes in 10 days early every year. So because the Jewish people follow the Babylonian lunar, lunar calendar, the days are not on a fixed time every year. Because it came up 10 days short. So they'll have to all do adjusting according to the leap year and all these other things and all these. They'll have to jump through hoops just to keep on course with seasons. Well, you don't have to worry about that with this church and what the most I've given us according to time. The Sabbaths are on a fixed time each year and they never switch. That means if the Feast of Dedications is tonight, sundown, Saturday. Next year, it will be tonight, sundown, Saturday. It doesn't matter what the date is. <laughs> it's the day of the week that the Most High keep count with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Period. That's how it works. So it told us the Romans would think to change times and laws. Uh, Daniel 7 and 25. So this is why when you look at the Jewish calendar and their holy days, they're always off. It's after the Gentile practices. So our feast of dedication, we're going to explain to you what it is according to Christ today. I want you all to understand why, because some people are fairly new and be like, well, I'm confused. This Israelite group is saying this and the Jewish people are saying that. Why is it if you all believe in the Torah, in the Bible, and believe in the Sabbath, how can you all be so different when it comes to, why can't you all be on code on what day to, to worship God? And that is a good question. You know why? Let me read it real quick. Elder Lawyer, let's get Daniel 7 and 25. I'm going to answer that. Book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse number 25. Let's read it. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. Come on. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And that he are the Romans, Esau. That he shall, he shall do what? He shall speak great words against the Most High. He would speak great words against 
the Most High. He would promote an idolatrous, atheistic society in which they can actually program people to, to question the God that made us. Being the children of Satan. Read. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And they shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Slavery. Read. And think to change times and laws. And it says they shall think to, think to change times and laws. See that? So can they change times according to God? No. But by them switching things up and going strictly by the moon and not by the sun and the moon. They have tricked people into doing what? Losing time and not being on time with the most high's Sabbaths. But they couldn't change the fact that the most high from the beginning gave us seven days. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a week. Do that three more times, you get a month. So what the most high did was he made 360 days with four intercalary days in between to separate the seasons 364 days 52 sabbaths evenly five and two 52 sabbaths seven so i and and if you get our hebrew and bible academy i mean our, our hebrew and bible calendar excuse me you'll be able to easily see that the most i've given us the information all the records along with the scriptures to make it easy to understand on us getting back on code with time. And this is why our feast of dedications, which the Jewish people celebrate as the feast of lights and have connected it to a celebration of their restoration to Israel and all that. Okay. That's why you'll see the menorah. Because they dealt, they celebrate the Feast of Lights, use our history, but have turned it into something dark against the Bible. Okay? And I'm going to go into that. The, the Feast of Lights and what that means for us. Now, 